Oh, God. We thought everything was set up. And it was already... We were already a half hour late to starting. We had an hour of wiggle room. I'm sorry to hear how things went. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> and it is what it is. I'm actually just getting to the part where I talk about the concert. Um, where we had an hour of wiggle room. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's a good amount. That's a perfect amount of time. <laughs> it wasn't. Because <laughs> for a half hour, we couldn't set anything up. I love you, Joel. And, um... When we finally thought we had everything set up, um, I was waiting and I could see you guys. I could see the crowd. This was all of them coming in. All of the Noombas. Bowska! Dude, what are you doing awake right now? <laughs> so many of you guys were there. So many Noombas, bro. But then it was time for the concert to start. And like I said, I couldn't hear Domo. And they said, you're good to go. I was like, are you sure? And they're like, yep. I was like, okay. Okay, well, um, and I'm pretty sure you guys were able to notice that the audio quality was ass. And um, I, I didn't hear anything. So I was like, um, I can't hear you guys. So I'm gonna, I think I said, can you guys hear me? Because I can't hear you. And you guys were like, Whoa, but I couldn't hear anything. And then I said, okay, well, uh, I guess I'll just start. I click play. And uh, apparently you guys could hear me shuffling through and clicking the song to start. And from my point of view, I could hear everything that was going on. I was listening to the backtrack. And in the middle of the song that I was performing, it happened to be CPR. Apparently, the background music wasn't playing. And I'm like, yeah, cool, of all songs, it's in CPR. And um, to make matters even worse, the second I read that they couldn't hear anything, the, secure, the, the AV guy opens the door right when the moaning part comes up. So this man comes in and is looking at me. And then I look at him. And then I start going like, oh, 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 this man <laughs> backs away into the corner of the room. <laughs> and Crab is in the chair dying of laughter. Like we were both so embarrassed because while i was singing she was dancing <laughs> and i'm just sort of moaning and this guy looks like his life is flashing <laughs> and then after it finished i just kept looking at him and he was like he looked mortified i <laughs> It was one of the most embarrassing things that was... <laughs> I think I even mentioned it. I was like, um, the security guy's here and he's staring at me or some shit. I don't know what I said. <laughs> he looked just like that. Oh my god. So yeah, that explains a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh... Interesting. And um, right after that, I said, oh, well, um, you guys couldn't hear any of that? Well, that's crazy. Um, and at that point, I got a message from the AV team for me to go downstairs. And then that's when my heart sank because I said, so the concert is canceled. And he said, yeah. And then I was like, okay. That was all I could say was just okay <laughs> because you know what else could you do um everybody had tech issues but for the most part everybody that had tech issues from the day before their stuff just got delayed an hour right but they were still able to finish everything that they were going to do and so i thought surely they're gonna let me finish my set but no, I guess my day had to be the day where it was a really tight schedule that couldn't be pushed back or delayed. And um, 
after that they were like just go downstairs and then i said okay and so after that i think i just kind of got all my stuff and it started to sink in that the thing that so many of you guys were excited for and the thing that so many people flew or drove really far to watch and see was just not happening you know the thing that i was practicing hours and weeks for uh was just completely shut down because of technical difficulties that was out of our control uh and that couldn't you know be fixed and i, I and because of that i just felt like shit you know i just felt frustrated as hell to the point where right after i made it to the stage uh, I think this is where the actual um, panel cut out for people who are watching during the live stream. And people who are watching during the live stream were probably really, really confused and wanted to know what happened next. Uh, basically, after that, I walked down and went backstage uh, really sad <laughs> with my friend Crab. And uh, Domo came up to me and introduced me on stage. And we just went with our final plan, which was all we had time for, which was to sing the bottom song that we happened to have with no problems because that was just one of the songs. The only song that I sent to AV because it was supposed to be the surprise part of the uh, performance. And um, unfortunately, I was not in a happy state <laughs> because the second... The second I made it onto the stage, I started to cry. <laughs> Which was not a really... Yeah, I, that's something that, I, I don't know, like... If I'm gonna cry, I want it to be crying because I'm happy, not because I'm frustrated. And... I don't know, I just felt so upset and frustrated that all the things that I worked so hard on to prepare for... Not only you guys, but you know, for myself and for the future of the things that I could do with you all in terms of, like, concerts and stuff for the future. I wanted to, you know, work on, like, my confidence and my stage fright so that I could, you know, do more cool things in the future. But, yeah, it felt fucking horrible. <laughs> I can't even... And this is not me blaming anybody for what happened. It's more of just damn that situation sucked so bad and it sucks that it happened that it had to happen to me uh because of this situation it just reminded me of high school except the only difference is it was you guys in the crowd and you guys were just cheering for me so loud that i just started to cry even more than that. i was like shit <laughs>